All right, super excited about this. I have set up LK to run Ableton Live, which has Evo Suite on the screen. So Evo Suite is multiple layers of video, or in this case, ISF shaders, um, triggered by MIDI. So I made music in Chord Gadget and uh, exported to Ableton all the samples. So those are here. Just solo this out so I can hear it. So all the music's in there from Core Gadget. And then I merged a MIDI file, export to Ableton as well. And then all of these trigger the video. So let's go into the first one. Alright, so this is a just the lines in the background shader. So this MIDI down here triggers it. It doesn't really show up so much on this, it's very minimal. And then this is another one. You can kind of see how it's going in and out. It's getting triggered by this MIDI. And then we have this layer. I'm just sewing it out. This is being triggered by this MIDI. And there's no data in that run. Here we go. It is changing it ever slightly. You probably really can't tell that well. I have a lot of work to do on this, obviously. Um, and her is Interstellar. I named them each to like lines background, lines, milk cube. This is the milk cube. Interstellar. You'll see why in a second. Kind of looks like Interstellar. And then this one's called Spirograph. That one you can see it's triggered a little more and changing. And then each one of these levels, the volume changes the intensity and each one so the lines in the background is the background and the next level is on top of that and then milk cubes is on top of that interstellar on top of that spider on top of that and then uh, these three with this house tunnel one let's go there this is the top layer so if this is at full volume which I can change here or change here it will, it will completely get rid of all the other layers. You won't see them, you'll just see this one. So, all right, let's just hit play on a random track. All right, and unsolo it. And then we're gonna put the house tunnel way down in the mix. And bring the movement roll out. Completely on. Spider graph out. Interstellar out. Let's get rid of the house tunnel. This one's called Marble Madness. Little cube gone. Let's just do the two lines. See, see it's kind of getting triggered there. This is cool. I had to launch all these clips from this thing too. screen record I forgot to do that. Alright, stop that for a second. Let's go to this uh, first we need to solo out spirograph. It's kind of cool, you can see it being triggered by chords changing, changing the spirograph shader using MIDI. That's kind of cool, I can manipulate it live and kind of DJ my own music too, so I can go in and Stop all. Like, I don't even know what clip this is. Start it. Oh, we need audio. Oh, okay, let's do a random clip over here. It's MIDI only. 
Yeah, something's still spinning. Is that out of the loop? Oh, there we go. Got some drums in it. Interstellar and Spider Man. Let's see what happens. Turn around the bell side. I have to figure out what tracks those are. I gotta rename all these so I know. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll start the video again once I rename them. Alright, I changed the battery on the GoPro and. I'm gonna start a new project in here because that makes more sense to talk about it so you can see actually how I do it. All right, so I'm opening a project. And what was that one called? That oh, doesn't matter, let's just do one. All right, we'll do classic hammer. All right, so I'm gonna open up the regular ALS file in Ableton. And it'll populate over here as well. So now we have all the tracks, 14 of them. And let's we'll just see where they go. All right, so it's just audio, but everything's populated from Core Gadget. And then what I do is. Desktop. I'm going to add another ALS file. What was the song I forgot? It was Classic Hammer. Gadget Files. Do, 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 do. Classic Hammer in alphabetical. There we go. This one's just MIDI. Oh, this one you have to drag perfectly on it though. Right here. So I usually go up. Click the first track. Over here. Okay, they got it. And grab the ALS file. Grab. Grab the ALS file. And it populates the MIDI right in here. See it's dragging in there? Now you have tracks one through 14 audio, and then one through 14 MIDI. And then what I'm going to do. For the other projects that I was just working on is go back and rename like each one so I know that the spirograph is controlling the drums or the moon patrol is controlling the, the lines or whatever they are so I started moving them around and I didn't keep track of it so I gotta go do that off camera because that would be annoying to watch and then I'll be back all right so what I've done is I went in added names to everything, reorganized everything so I know exactly which are MIDI, which are audio. So I only used, I think it's six tracks of MIDI, six layers, maybe seven. So I deleted all the other MIDI tracks that I had brought in from Core Gadget so that way it doesn't get confusing. So everything in here that's red is an audio file and everything that is green, oops, change. Oh, it's because I'm, I'm highlighted it. Never mind. All right. So each one that's red is an audio file. Each one that's green is a MIDI file controlling Evo speed. And then all these are just audio. And what I did is I um, brought down all the faders. You know what? I'm going to save this. So that way when I start a performance, all the faders are down and we just have the lines to start. So everything's set here, I hope that makes sense. So I renamed them all, so lines, background, lines, background, so I know that that's this. And let's just hit play on this clip and this clip. Let's see what happens. It's too quiet. You gotta go down. So it's just like 
one note. Nothing's really happening there. So it's just kind of like doing its shader thing. It's kind of coming in on now. You can see a little bit there's something. There's some others in the background. There we go. Um, so let's fade that out. And then bring in this one, which is lines. So we'll bring it for the fader so we get here right this. It's drums. It's going to be triggering on the beat. These lines, which are cropped out using E Mask. So these are all Evo Suite. You would drop your movie file in there if you're using movie file. And then this is the shader, which is that, that download from the shader site. And it's being triggered by MIDI, like I said. So now let's drag that down, bring that down, and see what's on this track. This is the Milk Cube track. So it's just a synth. Oh, so it's probably just like one solid note. Let's see if there's another one. Here we go. It's not really like doing a lot to it. But it is being triggered there. Alright, let's do the next one. Interstellar. I mean, oh, yeah. This is Interstellar. Yeah. Again, you probably can't really see too many changes. I've been messing with it for a while, so I can see the small changes, but the Inspire Rev is the big one because it's like on and off. So let's bring that up. So each MIDI signal changes it up a little bit. Turns it on and off. Right. Move control doesn't really change at all, it just kind of stays. Oh, it's because of the signal. It's not really doing much, it's like one note. It just stays on the whole time. And I think when the song is, it doesn't really change the notes on that channel. I'm explaining this well. All right, Marble Madness. This one gets triggered, but it, again, it's already got movement on its own. Oop, that's way too loud. And the more I mess with this, the more I see which ones are like triggered by like VS Visual Synth how it, it triggers exactly on the beat. And not all these shaders do that, and I'm learning about that. Um, so this is Tunnel Room. I don't know if this one's actually triggering it. It's just there. See what happens then. Let's put this down. Oh, there you can see it flashing. There we go. All right, let's bring this one in. This is the, I guess, the performance section of this video. Sorry, it's trailing off. I'm having fun. Forgot I was recording for a second.
I should be using this. react more and oh you know what I should throw a video in there I'm gonna do that throw videos in here save it as it is and then we'll throw videos in there come back all right the last part of the video I just wanted to put video getting triggered by MIDI rather than shaders so I went in just threw random videos in there that would work so let's go to this first one which is what I like call the lines background. So I put lines in there. It's just a recording I made in Evo Suite. And so there's the audio. The video getting triggered by the MIDI. So it's just gonna be one quick on off. Still using the velocity sensitive. set that up from there yet where I can trigger that how I want. And I'll work on that. So this is the next video. So I see it starts the video. It seems unimpressed. It's very to meow in this video again. So it'll just play with the one note, but if we have multiple notes, like this, trigger it. All right, and then let's go to what was Interstellar before. It's triggering the dog video. You can start at different points, like I said in the video, but I like him licking. Just a constant loop, it just re triggers every time there's a note hit. Let's see if there's just one note hit at some point. There's a couple here. Alright, and then what was Spirograph before? Yes, now. until it gets to the loop and go back and start and then when other MIDI notes are triggered I'll just trigger from the start point again all right and 
we changed Marble Madness to what was the video here? Oh, it's just a recording of the screen in Ableton. Kind of cool. All right, and then the last video I put in here was used to be a, a house tunnel thing. Now it's just these lines. And again, I don't know why the faders aren't on here, but I can control how bright they are on here. So, there's house tunnel. All right, let's mess with this a little bit. start. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep doing more stuff. Thank you.